Well, it's great having you on as far as from a senior non-commissioned officer standpoint. I was a non-commissioned officer as a sergeant when I'm walking out of the back gate. And I know the best leaders that I worked with, with, not for, were people that I did not want to disappoint. They were inspirational leaders. They're out there getting it done with each and every one of us, right? And it's difficult. You don't want to be the leader who's in the office all day long. Right, you want to be out there amongst the troops. You want to be pressing flesh and shaking hands and seeing people and all of these other different things. So, but you can't do that. It has to be a ripple effect. It has to be through, right? There's there's a balance to it. Could you describe what you're doing now with LifeCoach8.net and how you're bringing this out to people? Yes. Well, since you mentioned the whole leadership piece, there is a balance, and it is very difficult because you're right. If you if you're in a leadership position and you spend, you know, all day shaking hands, kissing babies, then you're falling behind on, you know, the administrative things. If you're a business owner, you're falling behind in your business. You're falling behind in your profits. Uh, if you're in the military, then you're falling behind in your administrative duties and someone's going to wonder why this isn't done yet or that done yet. So, yes, uh, there is a balance. The other thing, too, is that if you're out shaking hands, kissing babies, that's, that's great and all. Um, again, there's a balance. But you're not... Uh, helping anyone one-on-one, providing any coaching with anyone. You're not saving any marriages, saving anybody from bankruptcy, or because that's where you're one-on-one if you're in your office where people can approach you. Um, the other thing is that uh, we'll just say, for example, if you're in the military or even in corporate, if you're slacking in your administrative duties and you're not uh, writing any awards for your people, you're not getting them any promotions, you're not writing any uh, evaluation counselings or performance counselings helping them uh, understand where they're lacking and where they're doing great so that they can do better. But anyways, not to get off topic. <laughs> what was your question again? No, you're dead set on topic with lifecoach8.net. And we're talking with Sergeant Major Max Garcia for all of our listeners out there. Go check out lifecoach8.net. You're getting into it. How, right? You're giving us your commander's intent. I see a little inkling foreshadowing to that desired end state. Right, so boom, when you're getting out there, are you going out as a motivational speaker? Or I, I know that you have a book. How, what, what are your actionary items that you're doing inside of the execution paragraph, coordinated instructions? How are you going about doing this? Yes, yeah, so uh, execution phase, I believe is what we're in right now. The execution phase, the five paragraph order, which I thought I was gonna forget all this, but I guess not. <laughs> so yes, I'm, I'm, I'm accomplishing this mission through motivational speaking uh, and coaching. In particular, um, speaking, keynote speaking is what I really like, Uh, public speaking, conference speaking, you name it. I love running my jibs for the benefit of other people. I just love it because when I talk to a a crowd, whether it's two or 2,000, then again, my talk is having a second, third order effect on many people and many people's lives and their families' lives and their employees' lives or their coworkers' lives and so on. So that's the first part is through speaking. Second part is through coaching. Name it, whether it's, uh, I don't know, life coaching, leadership coaching, consulting, executive uh, coaching, you, you name it, all kinds of uh, coaching. That's the second thing where I work with, where I actually sit down with someone, either face to face or over a video call, just like we're doing right now, Michael. And yeah, I work with them step by step to solve their problem or help them accomplish whatever it is they want to accomplish. So if they want to accomplish a promotion or a raise, there's so many people there who can who have a raise and a promotion ready to take any time and they just don't know how to take it. And there's a, there's a step-by-step method to get it done. Or people who are, um, they're this close to solving their problem, but they just need a few tweaks. It's kind of like, you know, if, if, if you have a golf player, which I'm not really a good golfer, but <laughs> I'm working on it. And the golf club is like this, or the golf club is like this and only needs to be adjusted just like this. Massive difference. This, the ball is going far off into the water, into the sand trap. This, straight onto the fairway. Just, that's what I do when I work with people one-on-one. It's help them uh, to, to plan their attack.